Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. It seems like a long time, I've had a fantastic two weeks holiday and uh, and it's it's sort of good to be back in a way it isn't. It's cold and wet here and it wasn't where we were, but we had a fantastic time. Anyway, um, for this first video back it's gonna be a bit different. So although it's welcome back to the kitchen table, there's, there's no vision here because this video is going to introduce us to uh, a little bit of a new series and to somebody else. So before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to Tom. Say hello, Tom. Hello. This is Tom. He's my son. How old are you, Tom? Seven. Tom is seven. And we are going to do a little bit of a, a series, uh, a bit of a father and son uh, thing. But before we do, uh, we better have a, our traditional drink. Uh, coffee for me, water for son, uh, for Tom. So um, cheers. Cheers. Let's have a drink of that. Mm. Ah, right, excellent. So, what we are going to do, and there might be the odd clue that you've spotted at the back, is that Tom and I have decided that it's about time we entered the hairy-chested and manly world of building our own quadcopter. Now, this doesn't mean that we've gone off the vision. Far from it. We love our vision. But uh, we thought we wanted to do a bit of a project where Tom and I could learn some bits and pieces together. Isn't that right, Tom? Yes. So uh, I've, as many of you know, I've always uh, uh, said that I don't know how to solder. And Tom doesn't know how to solder either. So we've got ourselves a soldering iron and we've got ourselves some other bits and pieces. And we've got ourselves one of these. If you could just hold that there for me, Tom. A NASA V2. Why have we got one of these, you ask? Well, there it is. We might look a little bit familiar to anyone who's opened up their vision, but obviously this is the fully fledged version. And we'll maybe do a bit more of an unboxing in the um, in another in another video. But we've got one of those because we have also got one of these. It's a DJI F. 450 almost ready to fly kit which in the world of building your own quadcopter means it's almost ready to fly in the sense that once you've actually put it all together soldered all the wiring added all the electronics the radio gear uh, the motors and the props it's ready to fly that means almost ready to fly um, so we're going to over the net course of the, the next probably couple of months we're going to save up our pocket money and buy the additional components that we need um, to to get this bad boy up and running, and we've got you know it comes in. We've got some shiny motors for those. We've got to get our heads around speed controllers. We've got to get our heads around actually building the frame. What else? We've got to oh get used to non self-tightening props as well so that's something going to be different uh, and yeah and then we've got to work out you know wiring and soldering and our first job is going to be to solder up the board here which you know, we might not see it through let's open it up so if you could just hold that for me please hold the packet there tom thank you so as you can see, all these nice little pads with pluses and minuses on, we need to solder things to them, which is why we're going to um, we're going to have a little bit of a practice with our new soldering iron and and yeah, and so we're gonna we're gonna start off um, and then as we gradually get raise some radio gear, we'll save our pennies up for that, and as we get maybe we might make this one a little bit of a um, a little bit of a sort of sport flyer, so. I don't know what we'll do about putting a camera on it or a gimbal, maybe nothing. I don't know yet, but we're just going to sort of, you know, as we as we go along, we're going to slowly go together and build this up. So that's what we're going to do over dump over the next. Um, oh, I don't know. It depends, depends how long it takes us. We are going to build our own quadcopter and we're going to do it here on the kitchen table. So if that's something that's been interesting you or you've had it in the back of your mind about what's the next step after the, the ready to fly ones, then I think, um, you know, hopefully this will be quite interesting for, for, for all of us. Um, and we will, we will learn some bits and pieces along the way together. If anyone has any, um, any suggestions for what gear we could put on it, then let me know. 
Um, I've already got my, my eye on a, on a couple of bits and pieces. It's probably going to be all almost all DJI gear just because um, I know their stuff a bit. Uh, my dealer is a DJI tier one dealer, so there's an element of support. And, you know, I think if you're going to, for me personally, if we're going to do our first foray into this kind of build it yourself, then using... Uh, all the same branded gear it all ties in together it all joins together fairly straightforwardly so what we'll do over the next couple of videos in this particular build your own quad series we'll have a look at what you get when you buy a standalone nasa because there's quite a few bits and pieces in there a bit of wiring to look at we'll also have a bit of a breakdown of the f450 take everything out of the packets for you and line them up in here we can we can see what the parts are and then what we'll do is we'll do some some build vids and and you know you can laugh at my attempts at soldering and uh, and when we'll, we'll drive it all the way through until we get to um until we get to do our maiden flight and you can probably watch tom pilot it because he's you know he's getting to be quite a tap hand at that sort of thing so yeah so thanks for your um patience with the lack of videos over the last couple of weeks um i had a couple that i just sort of um did a scheduled publish so you had something to look at amuse yourself with um shout at on the screen whatever you like uh, so we're back now and normal service should be resumed um, i'm going to do a uh, another video in the next day or two just uh, sort of in my series of dji news rounding up a bit more formally i know i did a quick piece while i was on holiday but rounding up a bit more formally about what's happened with firmware 3 um, some of the issues that i know some people have had with the new version of the app the Vision Plus is now starting to come into customer hands. So I'll be able to have a look at some reviews of that. We'll, we'll talk to some people. I think I might be hopefully able to talk to somebody who's actually getting one delivered to their door on Wednesday or Thursday of this week. Not here in the UK, in the US. Um, and, and get some, you know, get some, some real world reviews from them. And I'll pass that on. And if they do a video, I'll link to that as well. So we've got a few things planned. So yeah, so... Uh, just wanted to let you know that this was going to be our sort of new side project. The vision uh, is going to be, I'm going to be taking her out this week, hopefully, um, to have a look uh, at how the new firmware is performing with it, because I haven't yet done the upgrade. I've been away. I haven't flown with the new app. I've got the Rotor Pixel on. I want to just see if there's been any any issues, and, and obviously I'll report back if there has been. Uh, and we'll see if, if, if there are some. We'll, we'll see if we can fix them together. But hopefully most people have had a fairly smooth transition, but we will see. So anyway, um, thanks very much for your patience. We will speak to you soon. So it's, uh, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from Tom. Goodbye. Bye-bye.